an unsettling situation in Mississippi, Jackson, Mississippi, to be exact. It's been revealed 215 bodies were buried in unmarked graves behind a state jail in Jackson, of course. Attorney Ben Crump is now calling for an investigation. Families of the dead reportedly had no idea until last month. Some of them, those grave sites were only labeled by a number and a metal rod. Joining us to talk about it, activist Arthur Silky Slim Reed, who also works with Ben Crump. So Arthur, this started with Dexter Wade's case back in March, right? He was an individual who was hit by uh, a police officer and his family thought he was simply missing, but he was dead and buried and no one notified them. Well, the thing about it is that he had identification on him, Isaiah, and the medical examiner gave it to the lead detective who said he called, didn't get an answer, and they didn't worry about doing anything else. Um, what we're finding, Isaiah, is that Mississippi is Mississippi. It's an ugly Mississippi. And this is sad because now we have six other individuals that has been put into this same grave. And if you look at the video from when we first went to that site, that site, buzzards were flying overhead. And we were trying to figure out why are the buzzards flying over here? But it's because they're putting them in shadow graves. And the only thing that they're putting them in is a body bag without embalming the bodies. So the stench from the bodies are drawing buzzers there. It's so inhumane for anybody to do any one like that, Isaiah, is just horrible is what we can say. And that's not even a word that we should use in a situation like this. It's something that we haven't seen. And what we're seeing here is over 200 people in this, what they consider a pauper's grave behind the county jail there. And, and what you guys are learning in your investigation is many of these families were never called, were never notified. Many of them still think their family members or thought their family members were simply missing, but they were dead and buried and never got a call from any investigators, any law enforcement officials, or authorities in Jackson, Mississippi. That's right. And one of the things that we faced by being Mississippi is that um, they thought that we were playing the race card. We have white clients as well. There were white people that were buried the same way, um, Isaiah. And any human being that's buried the way that they are burying these individuals, it says a lot about the people that's doing this. Um, criminal act. And the only thing that we're asking, because people always look at us when we're out fighting for civil rights of individuals, the only thing that we're asking in this case, we want you to do the right thing and give them a humane burial. And the city is, you know, so it's crazy, Isaiah, to see something like that. It's 2023. It's not 1940. But to see them just dumping bodies in a grave like that, and no name, just a number. So they'll say, well, number 13, that's Arthur Reed. Um, number 21 is Isaiah Carey. But we don't really know until we get the remains. And then the remains um, had decomposed so bad, we just have to take them at their word. And when you look at the story, they told us that they would um, exhume this body at 12 noon, but they ended up taking this young man, Dexter Wade, out of the ground at 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning, they say, we were not going to allow them to embarrass us with those cameras. If you're not embarrassed by what you're doing, it's shame on you. Absolutely incredible. Now, you guys, uh, along with Ben Crump and I think Attorney Dennis Week, you all are asking for a federal investigation that the feds come in and take a look at this and see exactly what's going on because there's some questions as to Dexter Wade's death when he was hit by the police officer. Whatever happened with the officer in this case, and why wasn't his family ever notified that he was dead and not just a missing person? So bottom line, you want an investigation, right? We think many civil rights were violated in Dexter Wade's case, um, not 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 notifying the family, burying him without permission um, when you knew who he was. That's, that's the key issue right there. You knew who this individual was. And if you look at the Dexter Wade case, um, it's sad, but Dexter Wade's uncle was killed by Jackson police, and they knew the family because they was involved in an ongoing lawsuit with the
head family, what attorney suites who you're talking about. So this is very, very, very troubling for us to, for you to know this family already and for you to do something like this, this was adding insult to already injury that you had done to this family, Isaiah.